What up, uh, Mr. Corbin Run? This great spot here. In a little bit, I'm going to climb up this tree and read a book. Look at that, it's just perfect. Just perfect. Shelf fungus growing off that uh, big piece of dead wood. You know, I've heard tales of people getting to stumps like this and catching the stump on fire and having the stump burn like all night long. Um, I don't know. It seems, uh, I don't know, something about it always kind of wigs me out. Like, I, I, I don't know, like, I don't know what I'm worried about, like, uh, a root fire or something like that. Uh, There's a beautiful spot. Well, Mr. Run, uh, I wanted to get you back, back to you about knives. Uh, I was going to do some uh, knife work out here, but uh, there's a couple of people just kind of sitting down contemplating right around me. I was actually surprised to see people back here. I see three people. Um, so I, I won't do that. I'm not a chopping and banging. But uh, I've got uh, I've got this knife. Uh, it's a, a really inexpensive Gerber. Uh, you can see I broke the tip off right there, making a bow. It's all scratched up, and that's actually I don't, that's actually not rust. Actually, that's uh, um, spices from popcorn. <laughs> Uh, the survival, uh, the survival necessities. Uh, something to read. Oh, you know what a good knife is? Uh, check this out. Like, like once, like I was hiking and uh, there was like a, a sewn seam inside my pants that kept rubbing against my uh, my hip. And uh, I thought if I was going to cut that off with uh, my knife. Um, I was gonna have to take my pants off, but uh, I had my scissors, so I just got my scissors out, and I could able I could s like snip the seam out. It was a seam uh, holding a belt loop on, and it was just heavily, heavily overstitched. And it was starting to bite into my skin. So uh, scissors are pretty handy, especially like if you're cold or tired or something like that. Like sometimes you know what some uh, backcountry knives are like. They're like razor blades. And sometimes you just want to open a, a packet of uh, top ramen or like some noodles or something like that. You know, you don't need to whip out like a lightsaber to do it. Uh, and if you're tired and, and hungry and uh, far away from uh, your your uh, you know your car to, to to drive to help if you cut yourself badly, uh, just sometimes it seems like a scissors just a lot lot safer way to go. Oh. Uh, so, Mr. Ren, I don't know. I was going to talk about. Uh, like knives a little bit like you oh that like so that knife broke when I was making a bow and someone not only condemned that knife but just then condemned Gerber like all of Gerber's knives are terrible and uh, I kind of saw what they meant like they're like thinking like oh well it's, it's really important to have like the you know the ultimate knife you know one that doesn't break for any reason um, but part of me is like well that knife actually still works I just I just broke a, a chunk off the back it was like a hook, you know, for like you hook onto uh, a paracord and then you pull it and then that paracord uh, uh, slices or um, like like a seat belt slicer or whatever. They, uh, just, you know, I don't know. I, I, I didn't use that feature. I thought it was kind of silly. And the knife's still functioning, so it didn't actually it didn't actually fail. But uh, I don't know. It's, it's like it's, it's even more like kind of gave me even more weight to feel that like you know if something works for you something works for you someone else could even point out by saying like uh, hey well that doesn't work because it broke and I'll be like well, I'm still saying this works um, because I can still make stuff with it it for, for me it's like it's it's still it's meeting and exceeding it my expectations I always hike with a coffee cup too Coffee cup and a book, man, it's such a joy to have. Like, um, it's not ultra light, ultra light hiking in any way, but uh, I don't know. Like, I think like in a morning when you're just kind of recouping, um, to sit down with a cup of coffee that stays warm for a really long time. I watch everybody wrap up their like ultra lightweight uh, titanium coffee m m cups um, that are six ounces, um, and you can see them just you know throw it back. They're like, oh, it's already starting to already starting to get cold. And I'll be I'll be sipping on this all morning long, just heavier. 
But you know, I'm not doing the Pacific Crest Trail, although I, I might take it on the Pacific Crest Trail. Trail is a hard one to say. I'd love to do a uh, several thousand mile hike. Man and his dog. Actually, one of the things uh, off topic, uh, Mr. Run, because it kind of got started by me thinking about the past. Uh, I was thinking about all the different knives I've owned. I've owned a lot of knives. I've lost a few. Maybe that's what I like about like the bigger belt knives. Is, uh, they're more difficult to lose. Um, oh, I've got like except my I've got a little teeny knife in my uh, change pocket in these pants that uh, it's hard to lose it from your change pocket. Change pocket. But I started thinking about the past and like you know like looking for useful. Uh, uh, examples as far as uh, what is it kissies <laughs> um, useful examples and I started really thinking about that I, I, I spent a lot of time looking at the past and uh, not nearly as enough enough time I believe uh, focusing on the future and um, I'm like I really I really like uh, uh, Wiccan religion and uh, what I like about it is like the focus of intent, like the whole like making spells for something, you know, like you, you thoroughly envision uh, what it is that you want and you have, and you symbolize it and uh, you, uh, you, you touch base with that, you know, oh, I can't stop, I can't stop petting the dog evidently. Um, and I thought what a, what a fantastic practice as far as like envisioning uh, the future. I'm like, I'm like, what, what tools am I going to get out of the future? I don't know what it's going to be. But like, say like I envision a house, like uh, I, f I envision buying property or envision a house. And so I'm like, okay, well, what's my house made of? You know, and where do I get this stuff? And then maybe I'm like, well, actually, well, if it's in the far, far away, then um, maybe I should, I, I should look to like local materials. Like, so maybe thinking about the future might change my mind about what it should be. And it, then it also might give me uh, some real concrete steps to take um, to bring it about. So, I don't know, it just occurred to me that, I don't know, I, I probably spend like 5% of my mental work uh, thinking about the future and um, like 80% of my time thinking about the past. I can't tell you how many times I'm just kind of walking along and I'll think about something that happened. I'll think, like, when did that happen? And uh, I was thinking this morning about something that happened when I was like, I think I was 16. Um, and I was comparing it to something that just happened to me recently. Um, wondering that, you know, at the similarities. And then suddenly I thought like, you're like, I don't know, like, I wonder at its, uh, its, its productivity. Kind of what it made me think of is what happened when I was 17, what happened recently is, uh, unintentionally got on someone's uh, bad side because they didn't know what was going on and they thought they did and so they started acting uh, in a way that I found objectionable to me and instead of like you know carefully and politically and politely um, pointing out oh I think there's been a misunderstanding um, instead I just brought it down on them I'm like, oh, you're gonna you're gonna give me a hard time. Well, perhaps perhaps maybe I should let you know what's actually going on before you, uh, you know, before you lose your temper like you are, you silly silly little person. <laughs> I was thinking that that that's, that's, that actually will interfere with my future, and that's when I started thinking I should think more about my future. All right, I guess I guess Akila and I have to make out or something because I need both hands. He's like, I don't, I don't want to make out. I just wanted to pet. All right, Mr. Run, uh, Mr. Corbin Run, I'll see you in the tubes.